welcome to the Campus and Recreation Wellness Center here in Oshawa, Ontario. The campus of Durham College, women's volleyball, OCAA action. I'm Chris McKee doing the play-by-play. -play. Coming in tonight, we're gonna have a good one. The number two ranked team in the OCAA East. And the number two in the OCAA. Number 12 nationally, the Durham Lords coming at 3-0 versus Canador coming in at 2-0. Two of the better women's programs over the past five or six years, anyway, since I've been doing the play-by-play -play here. So if you are out there in OCAA streamland, drop me a line on Twitter, at Mr. McKee, M-R-M-C-K-E-E. Let me know how the sound is. Coming in too loud, too low. Any kind of buzz or any anything like that. I'll leave it for the introduction. So. something new I haven't seen too much so it's been a minute since I've done some volleyball give me a second to shake off the rust haven't done any volleyball since the OCAA championship weekend here back in March when the Humber Hawks won again what is it I believe it's 16 times in 19 years Durham of course on the short end of that stick back in March but certainly have the team to redeem well one of the best teams in the country last year. And then they get a gift in the return of their team manager, Jessica Janssen, former OCAA Player of the Year, was a manager last year and then decided to use her final year of eligibility. So with the addition, addition of Jessica, I mean, this is uh, as good as it's gonna get for Durham. I mean, they have the reigning OCAA East Player of the Year, Mia Hildebrand the one before that. So Katie Stewart will start things off with the service line, number 17. And right off the bat, there's an ace. How's that for a start? Katie Stewart. So good atmosphere in the gym. Unseasonably warm November. This is about as good as the weather's gonna get and almost back-to-back -back aces pushed over by Canador. Kept alive, punched over by Janssen. And what a hit. So that's Carly Papano, number four. On the left side, you're gonna hear that name a lot tonight. Carly enters the game, number two in the OCAA in kills per set. One of the better players in the OCAA over the past couple years. Canador's first service tonight was Katie Bethune. 
punched over and dropped in. That's Madison Harvey, number seven. So Madison, a first-year player. Amanda Larson back to serve. Good serve. And through the middle, that's Abby Gerber. Evenly contested game, getting a laugh at the Canador bench over there, doing the White Stripes <laughs> Seven Nation Army tune. And now Papano will serve. So of course, Canador from North Bay. Janssen on the left side, paints the back line. Jessica Janssen, Durham up 3-2. So for all the moms and dads and families watching up in North Bay, I actually lived in North Bay for a brief time, about a year ago this time, I was the sports reporter for the North Bay Nugget. Very shortly lived. <laughs> enjoyed my time, I enjoyed the city of North Bay. A big block kept alive. Hildebrand, and Canador up for it, and it rolls just out of bounds. So that looks like Abby Gerber in the middle blocked Mia's attempts. Mia doesn't miss too many. Gerber now back to serve. Abby, a first-year player from Dundas, Ontario. One of the few not from the North Bay area. Puts that into the net. Tied at three. Sorry, four three. Now Janssen goes back to serve for the first time. So Jessica, fifth year player. I remember when she was a rookie doing her games back then. And a lift called, it looks like. Double touch, yeah. So mention off the top, Jessica, former player of the year in the OCAA, an all-Canadian. You want to talk about reinforcements? I'm sure any team would take that. Blocked by Hildebrand. Bodies rolling all over the ground. Unfortunate for Canador. Another double touch call. 6-3, Durham. Mention if you are out there watching, hit me up on Twitter at Mr. McKee, even Instagram at Mr. McKee CM. Let me know any problems with sound. And there's an ace, Jessica Johnson. So you got to think a timeout got to be coming here from Canada. Is momentum shifting in favor of the ladies in white, green, and gold? Set was off. Oh, what a block. That looks like Dominica DeFrancesco over on the right side. And I'm highly entertained by the Canador bench right now. So the Canador campus, absolutely beautiful. Much like here at Durham College where they share facilities with Ontario Tech. Canador shares with Nipissing University. From the back row. And kept alive, oh, almost kept alive. So Madison Harvey, first year player, 6-1. Left-handed swing from the back, that was impressive. So not only the fifth year players adding something for Tony Clark's team, some fresh blood in. Block rolling around. Stewart kept that alive. Good opportunity for Durham here. Oh, clever. <laughs> Catches them sleeping. Who's that? Brooke Young, 12. And there's your timeout with Durham up 9-4. So it started out even, and then the momentum shifted over to Durham College. So thanks for watching here on the OCAA live stream. Appreciate you joining me. So also, yes, as they're mentioning in-house, congrats to the Durham Lords men's rugby OCAA champs today. Congrats to my buddy Xavier Benjamin, part of the team. Xavier's dad, Steve, is one of my good friends. Known him for, geez, 25-something years or so. I've known X since 
he was crawling across the carpet. So just bumped into X in the lobby here with his gold medal around his neck. Great to see. So congrats to everyone on the Durham men's rugby team. Back to it. Durham up 9-4, and Mia Hildebrand will serve Mia from Winnipeg, an All-Canadian last year, as good as it comes. And just pushed over by Canada. Katie Stewart, ooh, great dig. And just punched back over. Stewart again. Papano there for Canada. And from the back row, now it looks like DeFrancesco. And Canada, a big point for them. 9-5. Leah McDougal back to serve. Leah, a fifth-year player. And ambitious from Brooke Young. She tried it a couple points ago and it worked. That one not executed as cleanly. 9-6. And a couple of Durham ladies bumping into each other. Devin Frazier, the libero. Pano, and that's blocked. Brooke Young. So the five foot eight, eight, Brooke Young gets up and blocks that. And now she'll go back and serve. Brooke from Chestamere, Alberta. Season two as a Durham Lord. That's one of the things that always impresses with this Durham Lord team. That's way too long. That ball's still rolling down the 401 into Ajax. <laughs> but the, you know, Tony's ability to recruit nationally, you know, just looking through obviously a bunch of Ontario. Then we got Cassidy Unruh, Port Coquitlam, BC. Samantha Payne, West Kelowna, BC. Alicia Lush, Lialta, Alberta. I mentioned Brooke from Chestermere, Alberta. And then Mia from Winnipeg. So half the team from Western Canada. You don't see that too often in the OCAA. Stewart back to serve. Katie, a fifth year player. And there's an ace. Got the chance to interview Katie during the OCAA championships last March. Her and Mia. You can go find that on YouTube somewhere. Just type in Durham Women's Volleyball. Showing the highlights from the game, then an interview. And then from the left side, that's Madison Harvey. Tipped. Johnson. Ooh, it just missed. Right idea. Just missed by inches. 12-8, Canada are hanging around. I can hear a little bit of an echo on this. Let me know if you guys can hear that at home. Hit me up at Mr. McKee, M-R-M-C-K-E-E. -E. It's Twitter and Instagram. And just missed. Durham serves again. Ooh. Stewart, what a play. Diving with her left hand to keep that alive. Johnson just pushes it back. Good chance for Canada here. Papano. Perfect. Carly Papano.
Carly came into the game number four in total kills in the OCAA. Adds another to her total. She'll go back to serve now. Set just way off, unfortunate for Canada. So for Durham, they've yet to get Mia Hildebrand going. That's one of the things I was looking at the stats. And here's Madison Harvey serving. I was looking at their stats. No one, you know, top 10 in kills or, or anything like that. I think there's it's so spread out, which I think in the long term will make them more dangerous. And gets the lip of the net roll. Point Durham again. 15-9, Durham comfortable in the opening set. But yeah, it's, you know, usually you would see Mia up near, now it's early in the season, up near the top and kills in that, but almost, wouldn't say an embarrassment of riches, but certainly <laughs> a full cup and there's an ace. So Harvey out of Pickering High School just down the road. I think that's something Durham needed this year, some more size, because when you go look at Humber and Mohawk and some of these teams, so Madison gonna be key for them. And Janssen just taps that over. Easily placed. As Durham, Durham had the athletes last year, just not the size to compete with Humber, and so, hey, they're getting there. Harvey. And announces Jinx into the bottom of the net. 17-10. Durham still comfortable in the opening set. Abby Gerber back for the Panthers. So for those up in North Bay, I lived right just near Trout Lake. Right on, right on the water, about 100... 100 meters or so away from the water. It was really nice. Went for a run around that lake a couple of times. You know, the, the, the minus 24 six days a week was tough. What a block. It's like Tiana Head and DeFrancesco together. Tiana number three. So Tiana, an OCAA All-Star last year. And looks like we've got some condensation. Katie Stewart was diving on the floor, a little sweat on the floor, and Mia <laughs> using her knee pad. That was a first I've seen. <laughs> uh, Mission accomplished, back to it, 17-11. And way too long. That was Emma Kutu with her first service of the game. And then Meadow Gillespie, the, the libero, excuse me, back in. Jessica Janssen serves. Di Francesco. And there's Mia Hildebrand. A bit more like it. She didn't get it all, she topped it. You could just hear the sound of it. But the ball rolls in. Jess again back to serve up 19-11. DeFrancesca. That's Stewart, that came out of her hand with some pop on it. Stewart, and Canador up to the task again. And there's that dump from Brooke Young. Two out of three is not so bad. <laughs> 2011. 
So Jessica, also a former Durham College Athlete of the Year. Long list of accolades. Yeah, it looks like a, someone touched the net on Durham. That'll be Canador Point. Canador gets a lifeline. De Francesco back to serve. Third year player from Barry. And an ace. That serve was tough. It put, it, it, I thought for a second, well, that's going to the bottom of the net. It got over and it just, the bottom dropped out of it. And there, again, almost, but just out this time. Mia back to serve. Saw Mia over the summer back in Winnipeg working for whatever the minor league baseball team is, and that's into the net. Out in Winnipeg, doing social media for them. Send some good updates. Perhaps a future in broadcasting for Mia. Ball rolling around the net, saved. And everyone on Canada are looking at the ref saying, what was that about? Double touch. Mia trying to close out the first set. Durham up 23-13. All Lords. Another good serve. And then Brooke Young's move just gets <laughs> put right back at them. Looks like Tiana Head push that in. Leah McDougal will now serve. Good opportunity for Canador. And the set off again. That's happened three times in the first set. And then Durham makes them pay. Katie Stewart, the Lord's now on set point. Now, Canador doesn't have to play perfect volleyball, but they got to limit mistakes. That's three sets. They've just pushed out of bounds, you know. I don't want to use too negative an adjective, but they didn't get it right. Young serves on set point for Durham. Stewart. And that should do it. No, kept alive. Wow. <laughs> Spoke too soon. And someone touched the net on Canador. And Gillespie, just out of her mind with some of these digs, unbelievable. Well, that should do it for the first set. So at the end of one, Durham Lords one, Canador zip. 25 14. That was comfortable. I'm also happy to see that we're going back to regular volleyball rules because over the past year or so they've been didn't switch sides, you know, no high fives, none of that stuff. Everyone worried about getting sick, whatever. And so a little bit more normalcy. This is normal, great to see. Some Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg bumping in the background. Dre's Chronic 2001 album, one of my favorites ever. For those unfamiliar, this song was actually written by Jay-Z. I always poke fun at the DJ when I do Durham games because it's been, you know, I started calling games here in 2015 when I came back to college for broadcasting and the soundtrack hasn't changed one lick since 2015. It's the same song. We heard our Black Eyed Peas, I've Got a Feeling, bunch of Eminem. And here's our Still Dre. Yeah.
Georgia. Couldn't believe how gorgeous a day it was. Went for a run earlier this afternoon on Pickering, my neck of the woods, and I could have wore shorts and a t-shirt. Because I had a hoodie on and track pants and I was just soaked. It was too much. The weather was too nice. This is about the last couple of days of it. I think this time next week, we're gonna be about plus three, that's the high. So the weather in, in Oshawa and Durham will be a little bit more like it is in North Bay. My son goes to Algoma University up in Sault Ste. Marie. I've already seen, he sent me some videos of the snow, the soccer team training in a foot and a half of snow. To it. I mean, if you're Canador, you had success through Carly Papano on the left side. Get her some more opportunities. If you're Durham, as you were, the attack coming in all different directions. Katie Stewart, Mia Hildebrand, Jessica Youngson, the first-year player. Sorry, Madison Harvey. Someone was texting me at that stuff and I was looking at my phone, forgive me. So the crowd filing in, more bodies coming in. Always love being in this gym. It's probably my favorite gym in Ontario. I also do the play-by-play -play for Orangeville Prep Basketball, which is one of the top high school programs in Canada. We had a TV show on CBC last year called Anyone's Game. You can see me in. But this is definitely home for me. Canador starts off the service. It's Katie Bethune. Janssen. Oh. Well, that's Papano on the left side. See, sometimes you just got to listen to the commentator. That's Carly Papano starts things off for Canador. Bethune, a second team OCAA All-Star last year. Katie from North Bay. And that's too strong. So when I moved to North Bay, I didn't have an apartment yet, so I had to live in the Comfort Inn on Lakeshore for about three weeks, which it's funny, the first couple of days was horrible. Then you kind of get used to it and you like it because they have the they had the waffle maker down in the lobby, so I had that fresh breakfast, scrambled eggs, and the waffle every day. Harvey. That's one of the things I could get used to. Pushed out of bounds by McDougal. Harvey back to serve. Well, a simple approach to the serve and an ace. She put some good pop on it, but not much of a wind up to it. And a timeout on the floor already for Canada, trailing 3 1. Well, thanks for joining us here on the OCAA live stream. I miss when the games were on YouTube, because then I could go download it and cut some of the highlights to post, but hey, alas, it is what it is. So Durham coach Tony Clark, OCAA East Coach of the Year, a former CCAA National Coach of the Year. He's built something impressive. Which is just the national recruiting, amazing. 
Harvey serves again. Johnson just pushes it over. Canador sets the set off again. It led Di Francesco too far. And another, they, they gotta they gotta get these outside hitters in a position to succeed. Because they're good. <laughs> Harvey again on a good run of service for Durham. And off the lip of the net rolls in for an ace. Remember, Colin, I've talked about this all the time. I remember doing Canador versus Durham volleyball a couple of years ago on Super Bowl Sunday. I think it was 2015, I believe. And both games went to five sets, and Harvey finally runs out of luck. Both games, the women's game and the men's game, went to five sets and then even into extra points of the fifth set. It was great volleyball, but I was trying to get out to go watch the Super Bowl. <laughs> Ended up getting to a local bar for the fourth quarter. But I think we were here for so close to eight hours doing volleyball, it's crazy, it was a marathon. Papano gets the roll and finally a break in favor of Panador. Carly Papano with an ace. Thankfully there's no Super Bowl on tonight. There is some good college football games to get to. Alabama LSU tonight, looking forward to. Using the Leafs Saturday night as well. Devin Frazier back in as libero for Durham. And a block. Looks like Samuel Ranger. Look like Sammy. Samuel. Papano back to serve. Good serve. Di Francesco gets the roll. Finally, you get the outside hitters an opportunity to hit it well. Good things happen. Canador, once down 5 1, now tied at 5 in set number 2. Papano again. Into the net. So the Durham Lords bench, not as animated as the Canador bench. <laughs> Maybe they kind of expect it. Jonsson back to serve. Oh, what a hit. Dominica DiFrancesco, that's more like it for Canada. Wow. Sammy Ranger back to serve. Sammy also, also a local North Bay girl. Stewart. And that ball falls in. That's Leah McDougal. 7 6. Ranger again. Into the net. Speaking of North Bay girl, I had a kick, you know, chatting with a couple people when I was in North Bay and we were chatting with this one girl. She was telling me how excited she was that she got a new snowmobiling jacket. And I thought, well, that's a North Bay girl because, you know, I'm Scarborough born and raised. That's girls in Scarborough don't talk about their excitement about a new snowmobile jacket, but in North Bay, <laughs> they certainly do. From the back row, Harvey again. Well, this just in, Madison Harvey is good. You know, with all the experience they have, you know, OCAA Players of the Year, she's been the most dominant. Speaking of OCAA Player of the Year, Mia Hildebrand serves. Stewart, ooh, deadly. 
Katie Stewart. Hildebrand serves. Floats that one too far. So this one, a little bit more tightly contested in comparison to set one. It's all Durham. Canador doing a much better job of setting for their outside hitters. And there's the result. And there's an ace. Ties it at nine. Francesco serves again. Oh, Katie Stewart. So, Stewart, it's been Harvey and Stewart dominant this evening. Brooke Young now back to serve. I had the chance to see, because there was no OCAA volleyball when I was in North Bay at this time last year. There was OUA volleyball. I went to go watch Nipissing men's and women a couple times. Was writing about them for the Nugget. Stewart and a good dig from Papano. And out of bounds. Looked like it hit the antenna because it's still shaking. 11-9. Brooke Young to serve. Brooke mentioned from Chestermere, Alberta. Miss me some Alberta. It's been a minute since I've been out there. It paints the line. That's Tiana Head. So Canador looking really good in set two. McDougal back to serve. Larson and Amanda Larson too easy. So speaking of size, Amanda goes six four. That'll come in handy come playoff time. <laughs> and what a laser, Katie Stewart. That one was just on a rope. Tough to handle, 13-10. Floated in. So Peterson out there in the green libero jersey. And that one rolls in. Di Francesco from the back row. So Frazier and Peterson rotate in and out. So Frazier also a two-sport athlete, also a star golf a golfer for the women's team here at Durham. One of the best in the OCAA. Stewart from the back row again. So Katie has been torching them all evening. So speaking of golf, you can check out my golf show on Saga 960 every Tuesday at 7 p.m., Saturday 5 p.m. Also available on Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, and more. This Week in Golf, it's called. Amanda Larson serves. And the whistle didn't go. Why do we stop? So, Brooke Young thought. Uh, Brooke was calling, I don't know what she was calling for, but she just stopped and turned around. And there was no whistle, and everyone turned around. <laughs> Either way, it's going to be Canadors 14 12. Panthers sticking around. 
Gets the roll in the ace. Much needed. Katie Bethune back to serve again. Don't forget men's action coming up just after this at about 8 p.m. tonight. And Bethune into the net this time. So just as Canador inches closer, they give Durham some breathing room of 15-13. And Madison Harvey will serve. And Papano, too much on that one. Harvey again. One of the more simple approaches to serving, you'll see. Tapped away too easy. That's Jessica Johnson. And a timeout on the floor. Durham up 17 13. They're not calling a timeout. Well, that was a little confusing. I think he was just calling for a substitution, not a timeout. <laughs> well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> The DJ was about to start the tunes, everyone was, and then there was this silence hush over the gym. Everyone walked back out. Harvey again. And Harvey paints the back line with an ace. You could see that was going to drop in. Eighteen thirteen. Ooh, just missed. She tried it twice. <laughs> that was close just by an inch out. Substitutions. Sarah Grassi coming in. Grassi, an OCAA All-Star. And into the net, that's Papano. Peterson back in for Frazier, and Johnson will serve. And there's Jess with the dig, keep it alive. And with her elbow, I had never seen that. That was impressive. Madison Harvey. <laughs> And the ball rolls in. So she used her left elbow or forearm to kind of punch that over. <laughs> Some must mustard on that hot dog right there. <laughs> and a bit of a calamity miscommunication between the two Canador ladies. And they had an opportunity to tie at 15. And now here's Durham up 21-14. It's mistakes, and that's too much. Out of bounds, good eye from Gillespie to see that out. It's not so much Durham beating Canada, it's Canada beating themselves right now. Ranger keeps it simple. And Hildebrand and Mia topped it. Didn't get all of it, but it worked out just fine for her. Mia's serving. And that falls in for an ace. That just handcuffed Grassy. And now Durham. Looks to be certain to go up two sets to none. Oh, 
both teams wrestling with it at the net. Papano from the back row. Katie Stewart, and Katie Stewart puts an end to that. So Katie's having a night. And finally, the Durham Lords bench getting a little bit more into it. But when you're on set point, now you can get into it. A couple substitutions. Olivia Pinnell coming in for the first time. Good opportunity to get some ladies a point or two. Hildebrand serving for the set too much. Mia a little too amped on that one. And she'll be replaced by Devin Frazier. Di Francesco now. Stewart. And that was impressive. Katie Stewart. As soon as I saw that ball dangling, you could just see Katie kind of licking her chops on that one, and that was perfectly placed. So all Katie Stewart in the second set, and the Durham Lords now lead two sets to none. 25-16 in the second set. and a shot of tequila in, it might be one of the greatest songs ever made. <laughs> Which I don't know about tequila, but I think three Molson Canadians are in the forecast for me tonight after the volleyball. to it. Durham comfortable of two sets to none. It was the first year player Madison Harvey in the first set for Durham and then Katie Stewart just dominant in the second set, the fifth year player. So Durham with only three first year players and Harvey playing like a fifth year player. She's, I mean, I've seen her for two sets and she's got OCAA All-Star written all over her. But just the experience, very key. Set three about to start. And Stewart will start things off. Katie from Gananoque, one of the more beautiful parts of Ontario. Love it in that neck of the woods, the Thousand Islands area. It's so nice. It's a nice place to grow up. Yeah. 
wrestling match. Both bouncing around everywhere. Brooke Young just punches it over. And Janssen. I mean, that's her signature shot right there. She's tried it a few times tonight. She's two out of three on it. Just missed once. And the other times, perfect. I mean, it's so tough to defend. You got to defend the whole court. And then there's Jessica just painting the line. And the set was off on that one. And Harvey couldn't make the most of it. 1-1. One, one. McDougal back to serve. We had a blast doing the Women's OCAA Volleyball Championship back in March. Both teams were in that mix here. And Papano finally Perfect. A bit more like it from Canador. Good to see the energy still there with the bench. Still positive vibes, good energy from the ladies. Important if you want to fight back into this match. And the ball just dangling and put away. Oh, Sarah Grassi, excuse me. I was trying to get the number. The ref was blocking, obstructing my view. An ace. So Canada are out to a good start. Does Tony Clark go timeout yet? He's gonna let his ladies fight through it. Another good serve. Harvey, ooh. Well, that ball had some pop on it, and it was too much for McDougal to handle. Now Amanda Larson back to serve. I believe Amanda is a police foundation student. I had that on my notes from last year. It's so funny, I had all the notes from the OCWA Championship saved, and then about two weeks ago, I threw them out thinking, well, I'm not gonna need those for a while. And then when I was here last week doing the women's soccer, DK was like, hey, can you do some volleyball? I'm like, D yeah, all right. <laughs> Happy to be back, always love being in the gym. Gonna do a few more games, certainly this year. Stewart into the net this time. So shout out to Lorna Marshall. If you're out there watching, they're usually tuned in. Canador up 6-2, set three, looking good. And that ball drops in for an ace. Frazier and Stewart caught looking. And it's Tiana ahead. Tiana out of Whitfield High School. What we got? One, two, three, four. Four ladies from the same high school. And punched out of bounds. They're looking for a touch. Harvey was, everyone on white was calling for a touch. 8-2, no timeout from Tony, letting the ladies play. Tiana serves again. She's on a good run for Canador. Diving dig from Stewart, Janssen. Good opportunity for Durham here. And the set was off. Just punched over by Harvey. And a nice bump from Tony Clark, showing his skills. Where'd Tony play? Was it Loyalist? Maybe? There's a statue erected of him somewhere along the 401 between Belleville and Kingston. 
Harvey. And a great dig from Stewart. Peterson keeps it alive. And then Janssen too much. <laughs> Still Canada point, so finally a timeout from Durham, trailing 9-3. So that's the energy. Talk about that positive energy from Canada. You saw it, they looked lively, and here they are. Leading in set three, 9-3. So the announcer in-house guy, he's got to learn. So I learned, you know, I produced concerts for over 20 years. You can't put your hand over the mic. You got to allow a little space. You ever watch like Celine Dion or Mariah Carey sing? Whenever they hit those notes, they pull the microphone away from their mouth. They're not sort of swallowing it. They know how to use the microphone right. Because <laughs> it's tough to understand. So Maroon 5 moves like Jagger. Adam Levine blowing up social media over the past couple weeks <laughs> with his extracurricular activities. Surprise, a rock star has been unfaithful to his wife. And there's an ace. Sarah Grassi. So all Canada in set three. Hildebrand, wow! That's oh me am I. I've been waiting for that call. Mia Hildebrand. That's a bit more like it from the All Canadian. Janssen back to serve. Back to serve. Excuse me. And an ace for Jessica. So speaking of positive vibes, now Durham trying to will their way back into this set. So Durham, number 12 in the country right now. Number two in the OCAA. And oh, what a dig by Janssen. And Stewart goes touch. <laughs> so after Jessica let her teammates down on that other play a couple, couple seconds ago, she redeems herself right there with that dig. Impressive. 10-6, now maybe the timeout coming if you're Canador, but Jess puts that back in to the Nets, bails out Canador. All the momentum was shifting to Durham. Carly Papano. And Brooke Young. Tried it again, Canada are way to it this time. But it doesn't matter because Katie Stewart just inside the left line. So Katie having a night. Katie, an all-star in her own right as well. Young sets for Larson and Amanda Larson. Ooh. Emphatic. And there's the timeout for Canada. So Durham creeping back in, now trailing 11 8. So we had a great weekend of soccer last weekend here up at Durham College. Congrats to the Humber Hawks ladies, OCAA champs. Weather was perfect all weekend. It's like it is today. Left the house with just a golf shirt on, no jacket required. That's an old Phil Collins album. Now 
this song's gonna be entrenched in my brain for three days. It was it Teo Cruz or something? I hope he enjoyed his 15 minutes of fame. Hildebrand. And that's Leah McDougal on the right side. So a big point for Canador out of that timeout. What you want, you know, you call that timeout to settle your ladies down and it ends up being effective. 12-8. Larson. Oh, and this one's still alive. And I, hey, I, kudos to the Canada ladies. We had Leah McDougall going about six rows up in the stands trying to keep that alive. Brooke Young back to serve. to the net. I didn't like her footwork on that serve. It's too much shuffling. You know, they talk about quarterbacks in the NFL when their footwork isn't right. And that one, I don't know. It's a work in progress, let's say. <laughs> Katie Bethune. Larson goes touch this time. And Young sets for Stewart. And Katie hasn't missed too many tonight. All Katie Stewart. Now Katie will serve. Durham trailing by three. And yeah, that one floats out of bounds. You know, that's, that often happens. You see you the adrenaline going with Katie after a big hit like that. And then it's hard to kind of bring that in and settle down and get back into your usual service. You saw it right there. Harvey, and that's just too easy. There was a wide open gap. Canador has got to be a little bit more on it than that. That was too easy for Harvey. Good news is for Canador, still lead by three in set three. Set off that's going out, it is. Just the setting issues continue for Canador tonight. Larson again. Oh, sorry, they're cleaning up some of the sweat off the floor. <laughs> the Durham ladies were all like, clean that floor, clean that floor. That was the chant from the Durham bench. <laughs> well, that was way too long, just a bit outside. Canador leads 15-12, Tiana head serving. Just missed. Ooh, that was close. Now Harvey back to serve. And just missed. That's two. But I've just missed for both teams. Hildebrand and Mia. Tough to stop, Mia Hildebrand. 16-14. So, 
Janssen back to serve. And an ace just drops that in. Durham Lords slowly but surely reeling in Canador here in set three. Gillespie. Oh, Harvey diving, but couldn't keep it in. Papano back again, so Carly's been key for Canada tonight as usual. Which came in number two in the OCAA in kills per set, number four in total kills. And Peterson crawling to make that, and oh my goodness. Katie Stewart, just lethal. Canador men's team rolling into the gym down the bottom of your screen. Don't forget men's action coming up immediately following. McDougal, and that rolls out of bounds. It'll be Canador point. Canador has done an outstanding job in this set of holding off the surges from Durham. They creep back in and then they get themselves a point or two to keep the distance. A couple more series just like that if you're Canador. Peterson diving. And Janssen just gets it over. Stewart with a block this time. And Katie all night. Stewart, how many times have I said that? Unbelievable. So 17 has been the best player on the floor so far. Young back to serve. Brooke of first team OCAA All-Star last year. She sets for us set, <laughs> and the announcer's jinx right there. <laughs> she left Larson out to dry. <laughs> Again, Canada allowing that space. Still lead by two. It's like Bethune. Left-handed serve. Speaking of left-handed, and what a block. That's Tien ahead. Any timeouts coming? Nope. 2017. Larson, and again, another big block from Canada, and a lift. Called against Larson, 21-17. There's that timeout from Tony Clark. Canador looking good in set three. Lead by four. I'm Chris McKee. Thanks for joining us here on the OCAA stream. If you are out there listening, draw me a line on Twitter, at Mr. McKee. Let us know any issues with sound, problems, whatever. Or just for a shout out. So we just finally got it, Michelle Mitchell Finson. So they're saying there's an echo on the screen. Is there any way we can try to fix? Yeah. Check, check. Well, let's just lower the volume, yeah. What's that one? Too low, now I can't even hear it. Push it up a bit, okay. So thanks to Mitchell Finson, sent me a message saying there's an echo, I'm trying to work with it. No, that's the headset, that's just my my headset. Check, well I don't know, it's it's them out there. Like I can't hear myself at all, it's what they're hearing out there. Yeah, because I've been telling them to message me if they can hear and there's, and I can hear an echo myself, it's still there. Check, check, check. Hold on. Bethune, and Bethune with an ace. This, the echo was happening last week too during the soccer.
so I don't know. Check, check, check. Check, check. There's the headphone sound. Okay. Well, we're trying, Mitchell. Stewart, too much. I think the... Uh, I think it's an issue with the soundboard because, like I said, this was going on last week. Yeah, that was an awkward set. Durham still hanging around. 22-19, Stewart will go back to serve. Johnson. Gillespie gets it over. And Harvey. Ooh. Deadly. Madison Harvey. So 22 20. We're trying to work on this echo. I've lowered it. It, it looks, it sounds a little bit better. I can't hear too much of it. Hopefully that's working out. If not, <laughs> you just get double me. <laughs> well, thanks to Mitchell for reaching out, sending a message. to it. Stewart serves. And it's, that's got to be a candidate point. There was a touch. And I think Tony Clark's reaction sold the ref. He didn't know what to call. So sometimes if you're a coach, because I was why I got a better view of it. I'm behind the ref. He didn't know what to call, and Tony called it, and he went with it. <laughs> so that's a message to the coaches out there. Work the refs better. Ooh, good effort. And so now Durham has come all the way back and tied it at 22. Substitution. Grassi out. DeFrancesco back in. Looks like Leah McDougal on the right side. Canador now up 23-22. So credit to Canador in this game. Just didn't roll over down 2 nothing. I've held off Durham on a couple surges. Janssen. And literally in your face. Tied at 23. If you're Durham, you do not want to let Canador get this set. Polish them off here. You don't want to allow them that momentum. Papano, Stewart diving. Canador will try again. Di Francesco and blocked. And clever from Janssen. She knew that was going to hit the net. I could see that. And finally, Tiana ahead. What a great rally from both teams. And now Canador on set point. Yeah, I can still hear that echo. Sorry, folks, if you're out there listening. It's something to do with this soundboard. You know, so we, we had an old simple soundboard that was, was never an issue with anything like that. They get the bigger, more expensive one, and it can never work. 
And that one just outside. Durham catches a break because that was dropping in. Tied at 24. Pano and perfect. She caught Stewart, or sorry, excuse me, she got Harvey out of position. And now Canador will serve on set point. Di Francesco. And there it is! Canador back from the dead. Takes set number three, 26 24. And we got a game, folks. So that was impressive stuff from Canador. You see, Durham, the momentum, the crowd, everything in their favor. And they just wouldn't allow them back into that set. That's big. I'm stumped for the first time on music tonight. I don't know who this is. Sounds like Nickelback. Maybe that's why I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm choking myself there. <laughs> hey, love me some Nickelback, man. <laughs> Nickelback, just one of the, it's one of those easy bands to kind of goof on, but I, I am a closet Nickelback fan. <laughs> but apparently don't know this son. I got to meet Chad Kruger at the Junos a couple years ago. I was an agent for the biggest music agency in the country for a couple years and ran my own agency producing concerts. Speaking of that, so I saw the news just as I was coming in. Uh, the pop singer Aaron Carter passed away at age 34. I was Aaron's agent for a couple of years. I produced three national tours for Aaron, including as recently as 2015, right before I went back to school at Durham College. And, you know, I tweeted about this. It's, you know, usually when you hear someone that young, uh, you'll say, I was saddened and shocked. But I'll tell you, I was not shocked in the slightest. Aaron had struggled with addiction for many, many years. And so while I was saddened, I certainly wasn't shocked to hear he had passed away at 34. So R.I.P. Aaron Carter. Back to it. So Canador fighting back into this. They certainly look up for it. You know what they did in that third set? Minimize the mistakes. I talked about it in the first two sets. It wasn't Durham beating them. Canador was beating themselves. And so able to be a little bit more who they are. Cut down on the mistakes. And that was the result. They just took a set off the number two team in the OCAA right now. So more of that for Canador. Katie Bethune serves again. So if you're Durham, I want to see Mia Hildebrand get a little bit more involved in this set. I mean, Katie Stewart's having a night. Oh, speaking of having a night, Tiana Head, what a hit. And the Canador bench at it again. <laughs> yeah, 20's got to get more involved because she can take over a game. Ah! 
too long. Also want to see Jessica Janssen get into it a bit more as well. And Jess, a former All-Canadian herself. Curious where she's at in her game. You know, talk about didn't play last year. Was a manager with the team. But you wonder where her, just her, her overall game is right now. I'm sure she'll get there after the year layoff. And ball bouncing around, drops in for Durham. Janssen serves. And the set off, and again, there's some miscommunication again for Canada. Beating themselves. Yeah, into the net. And there's a timeout for Canador. So after that huge third set, where they were really impressive, they came out flat in set four. So shout out to Wacky Wings in North Bay. I'm one of those annoying vegetarians, and so they had the vegan wings there. I was like going there. I was also, there's a firkin that's up near the campus that I really liked. It was a good place to watch some football. And then when I was living in that Lakeshore hotel, I would go to the, the Eastside Mario's on the Lakeshore, another good place for sports. And what was it? I think it's the Crown and Beaver Pub. Really nice place. A little pricier than some of the other spots, but. And a big swing. It looks like Sarah Grassi on the left side, number nine. It was. A bit more like it from Canador. As I mentioned, they got to get 20 involved. There's Mia Hildebrand. A bit more like it, Mia. I should just start texting Tony my strategy mid-game. And blocked. That's Larson and Stewart. Mission Larson, 6'4". And she's a legit 6'4". I realize, you know, when you walk into the gym, I'm six foot, and you realize, geez, she's tall when I'm standing next to her. Because sometimes, you know, college, you know, they'll fudge with their, you know, height and weight sometimes. But certainly not the case with Amanda. Papano. Everyone give themselves, you know, an extra inch or two when they're high. Oh, I'm 6'2". Well, you're six foot. Ooh, and Katie Stewart again. You talk about, you know, the, the one place they don't do that where they fudge stats is the NFL. They go the other way. They'll, they'll tell you, oh, the defensive tackle's 315 pounds, and then you get out, they realize, no, he's about 380. It's when their opponents are on the field, they realize, Jesus, this guy's huge. They used to say that about Vince Wilfork for years in the Patriots, that he was 315, he was pushing 400. And Amanda Larson, but what a dig by Grassi. Stewart. And they finally blocked Stewart for once, but not twice. Second time's a charm for Katie Stewart. All Durham in set four. <laughs> it's 
So a bit a funny exchange there with Tony and Aislinn. Aislinn was going off thinking, and Tony literally grabbed her by the arm and swung her back around. It was almost like they were doing a waltz out there, and that one just out of bounds for Brooke. So if you're just tuning in, all Durham for the first two sets. Canador took set three. And Katie Stewart, unstoppable tonight. So Katie in her final season of eligibility, I hope, unless, I don't know if they're giving them a COVID year. I know the NCAA, all the student athletes got like a, a year to burn. So five-year players could play six, and Harvey talked that one. It was awkward. So Harvey settled down a bit. She was dominant in set one. Cooled off a little bit in set three and four. Papano, too short. a bit more like it with Sammy Ranger. And now Ranger back to serve. And a huge block. That's Tiana head again. So Tiana goes 5'10", but she's playing much bigger than that today. A couple big blocks. And Mia Hildebrand, my goodness. All power. So they've woken up 20 in the fourth quarter. Mia Hildebrand a little bit more herself. And now the clean the floor chants come. <laughs> That's my new favorite volleyball chant. The old one, I used to do Queens University a couple years ago and their men's team was really good. The women's team was excellent, but they used to get, the crowds were, I mean, packed gyms on Friday nights and they would always be taunting, you know, the, the other team and they would always, you know, uh, warm the bus up. That was my favorite chant. Harvey into the net. That warm the bus up. And sometimes they would start it in the first set. <laughs> but they were always right. Once they did, that was it. Who's that? Logan Thompson? It is. So that's the first time today we've seen Logan serve. Oh, and that's tough. You come off the bench in set four in a game like this, expected to be up to the speed of the other ladies. That's challenging. So I feel for you, Logan. chance here for Canador and again the set not right and Katie Stewart makes them pay another kill for Katie oh, Katie's got to be on somewhere 12 15 kills tonight I don't have the stats in front of me and there's an ace Johnson So a couple substitutions, or just the one actually.
Katie Bethune back in for Logan Thompson. And Jess serves again. Stewart and Gillespie from her knees keeps that alive. And into the net. Mia letting them know I didn't touch the net. 15-8. Too much this time. And finally, <laughs> a rarity, a miss by Katie Stewart. missed. Again, you got the two refs looking at each other like, I don't know. It was, it was out. I'll give the call to Canada. I had a good look at it. Even though I am a blind old man, I could still see that was barely out. That's one of the, the rare times. I'll say, good call, ref. 15-10. Set four. So Canador just will not go away. A stiff challenge for Durham tonight. of ladies in white standing around looking at each other. <laughs> Falls in. 15-12. McDougal again. Leah, fifth year player. I'm a big fan of that. Look, the real world sucks. I've been in for a long time and a clever little dumb Brooke Young. Stay in college, university, use all your eligibility up. That real world is going to be out there waiting for you. So why not just sit and enjoy it? I've, you know, I've got a son who's a university athlete myself, plays soccer up at Algoma. And it's, that's why I'm like, no rush for him to get out. Stick, stay, stay five years, stay six if you can. And Canada are staying alive. 16-13. Papano. There's, you've got the next 30 years to be miserable like the rest of us. Stay and enjoy the, the athletics. <laughs> Harvey saves and again. Johnson from the back row. And Papano, Carly Papano. And she's pumped. Sixteen fourteen. We got a good one. Enjoyed this one tonight. Hope you guys have out there as well, watching on the OCAA stream. Amanda Larson. So this set almost a reverse of the last time. You know, it was Canador that had that lead and anytime Durham had a push, they would hold them off. And now the same thing happening for Durham. Anytime Canador creeps back in, they find that one point to give them a little space. Brooke Young. You just hear Grassy top that one. The sound of the ball. <laughs> Not favorable. And there's your timeout. 
So we got a good one. Enjoy this one tonight. So back to it. Well, there's still two minutes left on the timeout. We're going to see if we'll get right to it. If you got three minutes, if you're Canada, why not use it? Try to just mess with Durham's rhythm. Rook Young. Sarah Grassi, I love that set, and just hammered away. That was pretty sweet, I like that. And into the net. Katie Stewart back. Great dig from Peterson and Janssen and gets the roll off the touch of Bethune's hand and it drops in. So this is not one of those games that Tony Clark's able to get some of the other ladies involved. It's you can't allow Canada or any room to get back in. Usually does a good job of working in just about everybody. Not tonight. Peterson again. And Harvey, oh, lethal. Madison Harvey. The good news is the ladies who aren't in seem to be having a better time over on that bench than the ones on the floor. And that falls in, everyone in black staring at it. You can't do that this late in the game. And an ace for Katie Stewart. Stewart trying to put away the match. We approach set point and ooh. Well, Pocano has other plans. Now Carly back to serve. So, you know, let's do research, especially some of the top players. You look up, Carly's LinkedIn says she's a Nipissing University student, which I don't know how that works. If you're a Nipissing, if you've got some Canador courses, do they allow them to play? because the campuses are sort of in partnership. I don't know. Janssen. Jessica again. That's the thing with Durham. It just comes from so many different angles, so many different ladies capable. And now Larson into the net. So Durham. Keep, keeps giving Canadors opportunities to stick around and the gym filling up. Good crowd tonight. Saturday night, beautiful night like this. Don't have to worry about weather getting in the way. People saying, oh, I'm not leaving the house in this. It's gorgeous out there. So I went running yesterday and a deer came like sprinting out of the bushes and charged me yesterday in West Shore Beach. I've, you know, 30 years, I've never seen a deer down there. I see lots of coyotes and foxes, but almost got run over by a deer yesterday. Into the nets, and Durham is on set point. I had to get my deer story in before the game ended. <laughs> what it was, it had its baby with it, so I think it was just like, hey, get away. 
and then the two of them sprinted away. <laughs> Madison Harvey for the match. Game, set, match. The Durham Lords, it wasn't comfortable by any means, but they'll get out of here with a 3-1 win over Canador. If you're Canador, a lot to work there, be, a lot to work with, because like I said, they were equally as good. They just made too many mistakes tonight that allowed Durham the opportunities. Minimize those mistakes. And come OCAA playoff time, the result could be different. Well, thanks for joining us here at the Campus Recreation Wellness Center in Oshawa, Ontario. I'm Chris McKee. Appreciate you joining me. Apologies for the echo. Not much we can do. Hopefully get this fix kind of moving ahead because I'm going to be back doing more volleyball throughout the season. Certainly the weekend games we'll be doing. And uh, hopefully get it right for you. So congrats to Tony Clark and his ladies. Katie Stewart, player of the game in my book. And for Canador, Carly Papano, outstanding for the team in black. So stick around, we'll be back for the men's game in a bit. Appreciate you joining us.